Hey guys. Welcome to couple. Please like and subscribe if you like the video. A video of a tense encounter between four black students and a white man in Florida has prompted a police investigation after it went viral on Twitter. The video, posted by one of the students of Florida A&M University, Isaiah Butterfield, shows the man holding a gun and using his body to prevent the students from entering the building of a student housing complex on Saturday. The video has been viewed more than 320,000 times on Twitter. We are sick of the discrimination, said Butterfield in the tweet. Never thought I'd have a personal experience with racism like this. The incident is under investigation under Florida's statute of aggravated assault with deadly weapon without intent to kill, the Tallahassee Police Department said. Once we found out he had the gun, it turned into a whole different situation, Butterfield told ABC News. We really think he was trying to provoke us to the point where it got violent so he could retaliate with the gun. I knew that if this dude even feels threatened, he's going to find any excuse to pull the trigger. ABC News reached out to the man in the video, Don Crandall, for comment and will update the story if he responds. Butterfield said the encounter with Crandall started when the four students were waiting outside the apartment complex for their friend to let them in to join a party. Crandall told them they weren't getting into the building, went inside and locked the door. We were just sitting there confused, like why did he even say anything to us? Butterfield said. Then Crandall came out, again, to reiterate the point and that's when Butterfield started recording the events on his phone. That was also when another white student, a resident of the building, tried to intervene on their behalf and let them in, urging Crandall to keep walking and just go about your day. We really think he was trying to provoke us to the point where it got violent so he could retaliate with the gun in the video, Crandall, who appears to be considerably older than the young students and was confirmed to not be a resident of the building, trades insults with the white student as the black students stand watching quietly. Afterward, they all enter the building but Crandall refused to let them enter the elevator with him.